Yeah, that's a little bit how I felt. Very contentious. Uh, is that a cursor? No, that's a reaper. Hey, everybody. Yeah, that was embarrassing. Uh, if you saw that, if you're wondering what's going on, what was the outcome, I must have just copied everything over. The mod manager is Java-based. It doesn't really get installed. You just drop it into a folder. Whatever was going on, the installed version I had and had used, I think, during the last playthrough, six months ago, nine months ago. When did we play Mass Effect 3 last? Uh, but I've rebuilt the computer since then. Origin took up the install. I don't know what I've done since then. All I know is the mod wouldn't accept the installed version of Java, reinstalled Java, didn't matter. Went ahead, redownloaded the, the mod manager, updated version of the mod manager, accepted the current Java install, ran, went ahead and updated the single player controller mod, reapplied it to the game. Boom. Uh, that I should have done it before starting the stream today is what I'm embarrassed about more than anything. That's what's going on. I can now exit the menus properly, no longer stuck. Arr! There were more color in this. You'd see how red my face So, we are going to Palavin. Good day, Melonhead. Yes. Search and rescue. The Normandy is equipped with a new and improved scanning pulse that can detect objects of interest. Use this to uncover war assets, artifacts, intel, and fuel as you fly around a system. Where, however, that each time the pulse is used, the chance that Reapers will enter the system to investigate is increased. If a Reaper enters the system you are in, flee and wait until you have completed a mission before returning. Or play cat and mouse with the Reapers as you go to find the last few things that you need in the system. Scanning systems is now very, very easy. You go around hitting everything with a pulse. If there's something on a planet, you'll be able to scan the planet and mass. Fuel Depot, you do still buy fuel. The probes are no longer something you have to purchase. Glad you're doing well, Melonhead. Palavin's largest moon has been shrouded in secrecy since the dawn of the Turian Space Age. During the Krogan rebellions, the hierarchy classified nearly all data on Manet and its sister moon Nanus because they feared the Krogan could use the moons as weapons by smashing them into Palavin's surface. However, some information is leaked out. Images of Turian bases where personnel walk without enviro suits indicate advanced infrastructure, likely a network of subterranean tunnels with powerful mass effect field generators that retain heat and atmosphere over swaths of the surface. The Reaper's plan for bombarding the bases were met with fierce resistance by the Turian fleet and the moon's anti-aerospace defenses. Their easy victory stalled, the Reapers deployed a variety of ground units to take the bases one at a time. The Turians have the advantage on the moon, but the Reapers have the patience to slowly grind them down. Every base captured, the Reapers deny the Turian fleet another place to repair or refuel. Hmm, who should we bring? Liara has three outfits. Third. Did we have that third last time? Not sure I've seen that before. Let's try it out. I'd like her white and blue and gray outfit, but let's try out this one. Seen that one. James will have a shotgun. Shepard will eventually have a shotgun. I did not upgrade the shotguns or the assault rifles yet. I did upgrade pistols and submachine guns a little bit, so Liara and I have slightly better weapons for now. We don't have any weapon mods yet, do we? We do! Because SMGs obviously need uh, ultralight materials. Pistol mods? Rifles. Who have a weapon mod or two for shotgun? Shredder? Shotgun shredder mod? High caliber barrel. Increased. 
Good. For James, good for shotguns. Weapon damage bonus. We can give James more health and shields. That's nice and all, but offense. This is insanity. Sometimes the best defense is a good offense. Sometimes it's the other way around. Boy, Shepard looks like Liara's normal outfit. We might have to change oh, that. No. No. Palavin. We have an old friend there. Holy hell. They're getting decimated. Strongest military in the galaxy, and the Reapers are obliterating it. Was it like this on Earth? Yes. Shepard. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Commander! The LZ's getting swarmed. James, open that hatch. <laughs> Kinda cool that you can do some things before. Or even get to the landing zone. Alright, get in, get out. Let's Ground report. Knowledge of the terrain is our only advantage here, and that's not gonna last forever if they keep throwing their forces at us. We'll hold this area as long as we can. Linking my transponder to the life signal monitoring system of the unit suits. If it goes out, send another unit here ASAP. Tabestic, get your men up on that north barricade. Yes, sir. Sergeant Bardas. Find a way to get that comm tower operational. Sir. Sir. General. Commander Shepard. Heard you were coming, but I didn't believe it. General Corinthus. I've come to get Primarch Fedori. 
Primarch Fedorian is dead. His shuttle was shot down an hour ago as it tried to leave the moon. That's gonna complicate things. How bad is it, General? We just lost about 400 men in half an hour. We set up camps on this moon as an advanced position to flank the enemy. A sound strategy, just... Irrelevant. Exactly. The sheer force of the Reapers seems to make them immune to that sort of tactic. The Primarch and his men found that out the hard way. I'm sorry. That's a big loss for everyone. Reaper bastards. So what happens now? The Turian hierarchy provides very clear lines of succession. Right. General Corinthus? With such heavy casualties, it's hard for me to be certain who the next Primarch is. Palavan Command will know. However, at the moment, contacting them is impossible. The comm tower is out. Husks are swarming that area. We can't get close enough to repair it. Great, that's very cool. Well, I'm not leaving this moon until I know where the new Primarch is. I'll fix your tower. Thank you, Commander. I'll take care of things on this end. All right, let's go. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to change up the colors on the outfit when we get a chance again. Different armor. Got the Viper. Got a level. Arr. What can we do with the next tier of Nova? That's what we were looking for. Recharge speed of all powers. 25% and if it stacks the way she was saying if it stacks this is gonna be something I've never seen before tried properly before we're gonna need one more point take a look at Paragade in action we have a fair amount of Paragon but a decent chunk of Renegade by the end of the game we are gonna be locked out of various decisions inevitably locked out of certain decisions because of the split and that's okay but it's gonna sting from time to time Weapon bench if we want to change up, uh, not armor, but uh, if we want to change up some of the stuff. Bench. Ah, Dregs, which bits are you seeing? Or have you seen so far? Dregs has done art for Liquid Development, which has done an art for Bioware games, Dragon Age and Mass Effect games. Got to see some cool stuff from Dregs. He's seeing stuff that he'd worked on that's showing up here. Go full renegade, Jay. <laughs> Zostis, yo! From Commander Hexnar. Free supplies. They sent us winter gear. Not sure what they thought we'd do with that kind of gear here, but I suppose we should thank the spirits nonetheless. The power sources can be cannibalized and converted to power our combat gear's filtering units instead, at least. It'll be nice not to have those clogging up anymore. Put on your left. No, not the tower yet. Okay. Sorry, where are we going? Put on your left. We'll be at the tower soon enough. Shotgun. Come back and check the loadouts when we're back in camp, or I'll forget. I'll say I'll do that and then forget. Yankee, you finally finished uh, Blood and Wine. You loved it all the way through. As right you should. Glad you did. Who do you think's on the tech job?
We can't repair it from this panel. James, you're our tech. Hey James, you're do up the work. Power repair. <laughs> On it. Might take me a while, but I'll do my best. Here they come. Ready, Liara? You bet. Let's take these monsters. Not that you should have to, but it's why well, you can't hear me. You can't hear me right now, exhaust this. Boy, this Nova, <laughs> this charge of Nova is a little bit OP, even on Insanity, isn't it? Seems like it's constantly available and I haven't even finished upgrading it. They just be flying. Best tech, trust Vega. General, do you read? The comm tower is now operational. Much appreciated, Commander. I'll contact Palafin Command. Let me know when you've got something. I'll help your men till I hear from you. Understood. Shepard out. Who needs ammo? Just chunks raining from the sky. Come on, team. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Commander Shepard, come in. Go ahead. I have information from Palavan Command. Please return ASAP. On our way. We saw already, right? Yes. What have you got? As your partner said, succession is usually simple. But right now, the hierarchy's in chaos. So many dead are MIA. I need someone. I don't care who. As long as they can get us the Turian resources we need. I'm on it, Shepard. We'll find you the Primarch. Garrus! Garrus! Vicarian, sir. I didn't see you arrive. Again, gorgeous as ever! At ease, General. Good to see you again. I thought you'd be on Palavin. If we lose this moon, we lose Palavin. I'm the closest damn thing we have to an expert on Reaper forces, so I'm... advising. James, this is Garrus Vicarian. He helped me stop the Collectors. He's a hell of a soldier. Lieutenant, good to see you too, Liara. Good to see you in one piece, Garrus. General Corinthus filled me in. We know who we're after. Palavan Command tells me that the next Primarch is General Adrian Victus. Victus? His name's crossed my desk. Know him, Garrus? I was fighting alongside him this morning. 
Lifelong military. Gets results. Popular with his troops. Not so popular with military command. Has a reputation for playing loose with accepted strategy. <clears throat> I'm checking uh, Twitch support just in case there's something going on. Exhaust this. Twitch has had issues in the past where people uh, could see a stream they were already on, but sometimes things would glitch out and show streams offline that are going. There you go. There it is. It's also affecting what people are seeing and whatnot. Anyways, the stream is up for a lot of people. Nightbot got the boot? What do you mean, Nightbot hasn't been around for a long time? You're talking, oh, Entrobot is not actually Nightbot, but I hear you. Why am I gonna keep going a little bit? What do you mean? While Twitch works on, on their Tetris, issues? During the uprisings, his squad discovered a Salarian spy ring about the same time the Turian Separatists did. Rather than neutralize the ring, he fell back. He even gave up valuable fortifications which the rebels took. Then the rebels attacked the Salarians, and when both groups had worn each other down, Victus moved back in. Didn't lose a man. Bold strategy. But wild behavior doesn't get you advanced up the meritocracy. Primarch Victus. That should be something to see. Unconventional thinking might be the only way to save Palavin. And Earth. He'll do whatever it takes. Reminds me of an old human specter I knew. Okay, let's get him on the shuttle and get out of here. Commander! Shepard, come in! Can this wait, Joker? We're in the middle of a war zone. We've got a situation on the Normandy, Commander. It's like she's possessed. Shutting down systems, powering up weapons. I can't find the source. I need the Normandy standing by. We may have to bug out. Should I go back and take a look? Do it. Garrus, you said you were with Victus this morning? Yeah, but we got separated. He went to bolster a flank that was breaking. Could be anywhere out there. We're trying to raise him, Commander. Incoming Harvester! Headed for the airfield! General, tell Primarch Victus we'll rendezvous here. In the meantime, let's go take care of whatever that thing dropped off. Coming, Garrus? Are you kidding? I'm right behind you. Right. Ah, well, if you are still able to see this stream, I'm trying to contain my frustration with what's going on, but it sounds like Twitch is having some issues that they know about. There were some recently. You so hard? A week or two ago, I couldn't start the stream. I was part of that group. To, Today, I had the stream going in time. But it sounds like some people are showing the stream offline, aren't able to get the stream going, even with a direct link. I'm gonna push through it, unless things get worse. Stream is showing offline and chatty. Uptimer is showing offline. Uh, alas, many of you are still here. So, cheers! Let's do this. Indeed. I forgot to level up Garrus. Let's level up Garrus. 
Be still. You can see fine. Excellent. Glad to hear it. Can't control what's going on, but I'm glad to hear that. Concussive shot. Overload. A bit of armor piercing. Proximity mine is cool because I don't think we have to pick up. We don't pick up grenades for that. It just, he has them. And, um, fantastic. Hurrian Rebel. Prox mine is very cool. We'll pump that up. Concussive shot. I like to get to heavy concussive shot. Mass Effect 2, they call it that. But whatever is the most powerful concussive shot. I'm not trying to power it with the properties of the ammo power. But extra damage. Damage to organics over 10 seconds forced by 50%. And we don't need to take it all the way right now. Let's beef up concussive shot. Force and damage. A lot of things are going to be frozen because I like using cryo ammo. So shatter might actually help. I am glad some of you are still seeing video. Which must be having weird trouble today, and it wouldn't be the first time. Overload is slow, but effective. Gonna need plenty of overload. Hello, Proxmine. Damage, bigger radius. Damage over time or slow movement speed. Damage or recharge speed. Wait on that. Or damage. on using it faster. The thing about taking the, the time down on concussive shot, well, I remember to keep using it. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's do that. Shepard's got points. No, we were waiting for five points to spend on Nova. Alright, get some sleep, Sea Star. Glad you made it home safe. Take care. Get the right one! Oh, ho, 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 ho. Feel sorry for you guys.
we're done here. I think we're done here too, James. Nice work. High five. I have detected a signal embedded in the static. Phoenix Fire! Thank you for the follow. Welcome aboard! Glad you can see the stream. Very good that you can see the stream. Thought about that too. Just assuming you can see the stream, since you're following now. Yeah, I don't care if it's OP, it's awesome! It's the one good thing about keeping Vanguard all the way through, is we get to do a lot of that, which is just fine. When we play uh, Mass Effect again before Andromeda, I think we'll play it through the series one more time before Andromeda launches. We'll do it the way I normally would have, even before I started streaming. Get back with Jennifer Hale, Sentinel or an Adept. We'll do a pure Paragon run. Something like that, but not this time. Not this time. Shepard, come in. Go ahead. Still trying to raise the Primarch, but we've got trouble back here at the main barricade. If oh, the Reapers breach it, for fun. we're done. Actually not. On my way. Hmm. Barricade. Cause every game needs turrets, am I right? Am I right? Oh, how I love turrets. This one's actually not bad. This is kind of fun. Oh, come on now. That's what's up. Sometimes you just gotta miss. <clears throat> Holy hell! What is that thing? <laughs> Roots. Did you really knock James down? Shepard, Corinthus here. What's the word on the Primarch? Still can't get a stable comm link. Okay, I'm going on foot. Shepard out. Garrus, take me to the last place you saw Victus. your military holding up look around that should give you some idea you're putting up a good fight for now but how long did it take before the fights kicked out of you if they'd only listen to your warnings about the reapers we might have been ready maybe hard to figure how you prepare for something like this okay
gonna pause the game if you're watching this later on YouTube. Um, go ahead, mark this here. I'm gonna mark a different time or something. So I don't know. At least it isn't Fubar. Yeah, it just happened right now. But I don't know who is and isn't here. I mean, I don't think I should continue while people can't join and are getting dropped out, and we don't know if people can. Back. I'd love to get some more confirmation if um, all channels are showing zero viewers. Even League of Legends, dear God, in League. Uh, well, I mean, if we're gonna be down for five, 10, 15 minutes, I'll I'll go stretch my legs. If we're gonna be, if we're coming back up, I'm here. So it sounds like it's back for some people, but not for everyone. And um, because it's being inconsistent, wow, I don't even know what to say. Let's um, sound back, but no video. Here's what I'm gonna do. We're just gonna roll another break out of this. It is what it is. I'm gonna put on some music. I would love to get some updates. Hopefully, they get it fixed soon. Oh, it's back. Uh, it's back for some people, but not others. So, going to put on music, <laughs> take another break, and wait a few to see if which fixes this. If you can see, leave it going. I would love some updates every few minutes if people are sticking around as to what's up or not. Garly, which is struggling. I'm okay. I mean, believe it or not, my net is actually working right now. Stream is still being transmitted to Twitch, but I don't want to stop the stream because if I bounce it, it probably won't be able to restart. It sounds like Twitch is having issues where people can't start streams. Twitch is showing zero users for a lot of channels, all channels, I don't know, whatever. They're going up and down and up and down and up and down. Twitch is crazy. A lot of people can't see what's going on. So even if you can, bear with us, bear with me and everyone else. I uh, want to try and share this with everyone. I want to hang out here. It's a 12-hour stream. we got plenty of time. If we lose 5, 10, 20, 30 minutes, that will stink butt. We got a long time to go, so I will be back.